Okay, back on the bike this morning. Um, just gone seven o'clock. Had a quick look at the um, Zip Companion app to see what type of race or training plan I could do this morning. See if we can do um, any group rides. There was um, a race which started at five to seven. But um, I thought I clicked on it. By the time I clicked it, it said that the race had already started. That's a bit too late. Then at five past seven, there is um, a group ride. But um, it's only a class C group ride for an hour. And it says they're averaging 2.5 uh, watts per kilogram. Uh, that's not enough for me, is isn't. Even yesterday on that training session, I was averaging about three kilos per kilogram. So um, what I've done is I've selected New York City for the for the track, and I've gone on um, I think it's Cadence Burst uh, training session. So um, it's got a bit of a plan in the top corner. Ten minute warm up. Then one minute at 210, one minute at 140, do three of them. Then there's two minutes at 220, and then there's 14 intervals at 30 seconds, then two minutes, 30 seconds, two minutes, 275, 220, 275, 220. So you fast, slow, fast, slow. Then a 10 minute cool down. I think it's an hour. Um, so the highest I'm going to go today is 275, that's quite easy. I was doing 375 sprint, uh, 390 sprint yesterday, 275 a way to get to that. I can hold that for 30 seconds, quite easy. So it shouldn't be too bad today, only about an hour this morning. Um, yesterday, Hit my calorie goal exactly, like exactly to the calorie. I wasn't planning what I was having, so it's just a bit of a guess because I'm guessing the measurements and stuff. I'm not measuring it, I'm not weighing it all out. Some of the um, ingredients I'm just searching for and selecting the closest one I can find. Just a rough guess, but. I burnt a thousand calories in the morning training session, so I was up anyway by the end of the day. So even if I did go over a little bit, I was still in a, in a small deficit from yesterday. That's good. Today, well, I, didn't go, I didn't go to bed last night early enough watching something on TV. So I set my alarm for the morning. It wasn't quite as early as what I thought I'd be, but Still got up, still got ready. Um, not fasted today. Well, did I still having a protein drink or a pre workout shake or anything like that? What well, did as I already had porridge um, measured in a bowl and coffee already in a cup. So um, all I had to do was put the kettle on. Put the porridge in the microwave. Yesterday I had 50 grams, and in my mind I always thought 50 grams wasn't much because I still had the 200 grams when I was bulking. So, um, 50 grams yesterday seemed quite a lot, so I dropped down to 40 grams today. Uh, with a tiny bit of honey on it, things are like 270 uh, calories, so it's not much. My fitness pal app says to have 460 something for the meal, but at 270, I'll easily burn for 270 on this bike ride, so I'll be um, up. So, like I said on one video a few weeks ago, a few days ago, 
from my fitness pal app doesn't tell you what to eat but it is quite good so it makes you think about what you're eating so it makes you what well, makes me anyway think of healthier or better options like a little game really trying to get the figures low to what I want them to be but um, I'm not following the app for what it says I should have in calories and protein and carbs I've adjusted that myself so I'm having what I think you should have in protein and carbs so um, just an estimate Nothing, nothing too serious. I haven't been told to do it. I haven't got to do it. I can eat whatever I like. But um still just want to get lighter. Lighter means less work. Uh listening to a podcast or audiobook at the moment. Talking about fitness and It was making me think yesterday about a few things, a few of the subjects he was talking about. Um, talking about heart, oxygen, blood. Um, so the last couple of weeks, I've been thinking, I've been, well, I haven't been doing it on purpose, I've been drinking less. Just haven't been, haven't been very thirsty. And I thought, well, because you, as you get fitter, you're not getting as hot, so you don't need as much water. But, um, so if you're dehydrated by a thing, um, so many percent, well, it'll affect your FTP because, well, it's, it's to do with your blood. So if you drink less, you're dehydrated, so your blood volume decreases. If your blood volume decreases, because the plasma, your blood gets thicker and your heart struggles to pump it. So your heart rate goes up. If your heart goes up, but it's gone up because you're not actually working, it's just because it's thicker, so your heart's working harder for nothing. So if I can drink loads of water, Thin blood down. I'll reduce my heart rate. That might be why my resting heart rate hasn't been as low as what it has been for a while. Maybe it's dehydrated. Um, what else? Uh, thing about carbs and fats. Everybody knows that a gram of carbs is uh, four calories, and a gram of Fat is nine calories. Oh, uh, I'm not my spinning was. But if you have Let's hold 210 for 100 RPM. I'm doing 210, it's only 90. Yeah, but when you eat, when you eat fat, you eat nine grams, that's just nine grams. When you eat a gram of uh, carbs, you also absorb three pounds of water. So There's actually four grams. So actually, fat isn't that bad. You get a lot of bang for your buck. So I might rewind that um, chapter take some notes and listen again and rework my diet more fat based than carb based 
So the total amount of food I eat in a day will be less. And it's not a good absorb water either. So maybe I'm just um, absorbing loads of water. And if I'm not drinking the water, like I said, because I'm just absorbing into my muscles and that's why I'm not losing weight. Right. Another sprint, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 